One of the most compelling animals to ever go extinct is the dodo bird, because of how far-fetched it is. The tale starts on the island of Mauritius, which was first discovered by the Portuguese in 1505 as they tried to dominate the West Indies and create a stopover. Though the downfall of the bird came when the Bud Dutch tried to compete in the spice trade, and in 1598 used the island as a penal colony where convicts were dropped off at, but also with the prisoners came other things, pigs and monkeys. Though the biggest problem with this is that the dodo bird wasn't familiar with the animals outside of its ecosystem. Actually, all of the Maritas had no predators for the bird, so it had no fear at all, especially with humans who the bird approached and, well, were an easy target for a male. It was so easy that sailors would simply walk up to a bird and pick it up and kill it with a machete. Though a common misconception is that humans were the main contributor to the extinction of the bird, but no. The main problem was that these foreign creatures were feasting on dodo eggs, killing future generations. Did the Dutch try to stop this? Well, no, they didn't even know the animal went extinct. It wasn't until 1796 when a French paleontologist by the name of Georges Culver realized that the animal was gone. Specimens collected from museums were finally worth something which they had not been before, but there was a problem. Most of them were damaged, and well, when scientists went to find more, they came up short. Even now, the specimens in the museum aren't fully dodo, with some of the bones being supplemented with those of another animal. But what do scientists want to do? Well, find a way to de-extinct the animal. A company at the forefront of this is Revive and Restore, who found the task feasible at first, but realized there was a big problem there with the lack of dodo DNA, though other researchers have found a way to decode the genome of the bird and sequence it. Beth Shapiro, an evolutionary biologist from USC, was able to accomplish this which essentially has opened the door for the possibility of bringing the bird back. Even conservationists on the island of Maritas have made an effort to make this possible. People like Rick Ernest Bonner and Ben Jake Novak have been looking at what fossils they do have of the ugly bird to try to make an effort to bring it back. With the help of Revive and Restore working with the community of Maritas by providing biotech to prove the genetic part of recreating a species, the conservationists on the island have already experimented with the extinction just not in the form of resurrection of a species, but we're bringing back a function of a species back into the ecosystem. At one time, the tropical peninsula's endemic species were critically endangered, only being dwindled down to 12 to be exact. For example, the population of the Maritas Kestrel in 1974 had only four members left, three male and one female now in 2018. Its population has soared over 400. The scientists have also been the first to replace an extinct species with placing the Maritas giant tortoise with a living surrogate, the Aldebrea giant tortoise. So on paper, these scientists are the best candidate of bringing the animal back. So what does this mean? Will we ever see a dodo bird in the future? Well, who knows what we'd be able to capable of. I think it might take a while, complications not having a ton of DNA on the creature could create a hindrance, but I think eventually scientists will be able to achieve something grand and hopefully we can see the ugly bird prosper again. Passenger pigeon.